in today's video we see if I found a £250 item in the charity shops or whether I found something even better. Cue the intro. Hi folks, welcome to the video. My name's Andrew and I'm a part-time eBay and Amazon reseller, which means I buy stuff, sell it online for a profit. Um, in today's video, I am actually going to do a bit of sourcing and going out there finding items to sell for a profit. And I'm going to take you along and show you some of what I pick up. So there'll be a few clips for you to watch, which I'll roll now. Time to fire up the Land Rover and hit the charity shops. If, of course, I ever actually manage to get to the shops. First charity shop, Hope House. Uh, it's a little expensive in here, but occasionally it does have some good items. So I'm going to check it out, see what we get. Cannot buy at those kind of prices. It's a shame, really. See how many bargains. Not the Carvey Bar camps. Vintage pure new wool, buy the cup, five pounds, may as well. I've got a couple of coats in there as well, and board game for Amazon. Next up. I kind of like this vintage gilet XXL camping and caravan club, which I think oh, actually so. I've got a utility pockets going on, some nice details for five pounds. And I think I'd probably get maybe 15 for it, so I'm gonna leave that. But let me know if you would pick this up in the comments below. Definitely being fussy. Cotton cashmere blend jumper, £4.50, but not the best brand. So again, I'm going to leave it. First item, size 12, Rydale Derwin riding coat, £8.50, but I should be able to shoot for 30 to 35 on it, so just about acceptable. A little bit of Amazon sauce. Symmetricals, again. Um, back of the car because my hours were about to drop off. Picked something up in every charity shop I've been in, including something I didn't get on video, which is this. Uh, the brand on this is quite interesting. It's listed for 250 quid, although I can't see it's been sold. I uh, paid a tenner. Um, might not be worth that much, might be worth 20 quid, 25, 30 quid, but give it a try, do some research when I get home. Uh, I am going to pop into back into the town, which is all the way over there, past there, past there, and uh, just hit a couple more charity shops quickly. Uh, it is nearly four o'clock now, so um, I just, I'm just going to focus on a couple that I usually get stuff in. Nice finish coat here St Michael but only a size small so I will leave it on the basis of the rubbish size this would have been alright to reco 
that warehouse extreme jacket, probably get 30 quid for it. It's at seven, but it's just a little bit worn. It's just gonna take a little bit too much effort to put it into shape and I can't be bothered putting effort in. I don't need to. It's not 430 yet. Marks and Spencer's, 37,000 square feet. Which is now St. Vincent's charity shop, which is an expensive one, but I'm going to have a look and see what they've got. Some Gwensons, Vincent's for three pounds. Thank you very much. Man, am I going to have some fun. Money, 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 money. Big load of stuff for UK and Amazon and Boots. Um, I don't mind showing this because most of it is stuff that people will be gated on and Amazon Prime not because I've got a whole thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is a £100 plus printer for £23.97 here in Curry, so I am going to see if I can buy it. Final stop. Um, came here the other week, so I'm not expecting to get much in here, but as I'm doing some shopping here for food uh, at the nearby Aldi, thought I would pop in and have a look see what they got here. Absolutely <laughs> zero clue what I'm doing here, but grab some stuff. I won't show you what because it may be nationwide in TKs. Nice pair of Ted Baker trousers here. Originally 120 pounds down to 18 but size only 30 regular and um, I think it'll probably go for about 40 quid so not enough meat in the bell for me this is something you have to watch for in TK's some of the clothing can be stained so glad I spotted that because I would have bought these jeans otherwise got our first pickup a Raf Simons um, blazer 38 quid down from 395. I'm going to try for about 200 pound on this, even though it's a size small. Got this, 12 pounds. It is in my size, but I'm going to try 50 quid on it. If it doesn't sell, I'll keep it for me. Okay. As is my newfound tradition, I failed to be able to uh, do the whole video at the end. Um, there's a couple of days later, mostly just because I've been sorting out the house and it's kind of overwhelming and taking over a bit. But didn't want to leave the video without putting out some interesting items. First thing to note is this time of year is really good for sourcing winter items. Um, this Marcus Spencer's Per Una duffel thing was only two pound um should get 25 quid for that easily in winter it's pretty cool design and this manta ray hooded gelee was only two pounds as well and again that'll be an easy 20 pounds um so don't be uh afraid to pick up stuff that's um out of season because if you've got the room, it's got places to store it, or if you've got the capacity to list it, and wait for it to sell, then do it. Uh, would be my advice. Uh, a couple of pieces of RA as well. Some really good RA uh, actually yesterday. But anyway, got this New York Yankees top. I have listed it for fifty pounds. Cost twelve. Uh, there was precedence for it going about the £40 mark, as I thought when I picked it up. So, if I got an offer at around that point, I would accept it. Otherwise, we'll see what happens with it. Uh, it might come off eBay and get listed. Um, one thing I wanted to show you, actually, uh, which this video is kind of going to be titled after, is whether or not I picked up a £250 coat. Um, this Elysian, whatever it is, seems to be quite sought after. Um, 
so could have been on to a winner but and that Dormy Wensway is actually a bit sought after as well but the actuality is that this coat which cost me £10 it's probably got a value of about 30 quid. I'm going to list it for 40 and sit on it for a bit because it's out of season. But yeah, um, had I known that it was only going to be worth about 30 quid, I wouldn't have paid a tenner for it. Um, I would have left it behind, but I'll still make money on it. Um, so, you know, can't complain too much. But, but because I don't like to clickbait people with a... I found a £250 coat title. I will show you something it's worth more. Uh, this, you may remember me picking it up and not really being quite sure on what it was. Well, it turns out it's a Fred Perry um, collaboration with Raph Simmons or Simons, whoever that is. Um, this little bad boy, I think it cost me £39, got listed last night. It sold... Uh, about 12 hours later for 300 pounds including shipping so there is a brand a collaboration to look out for folks if you see a raf simmons or simons fred perry you're gonna make some money yeah uh 300 pound sale uh which is cracking because that has given me loads of cash to reinvest back into the business and a little bit to save towards my house move as well. So yeah, going to uh, turn the camera around and do the wrap up. All right, so not quite a £250 coat, but thanks to TK's, we did actually find something better. Um, yeah, uh, that was a real bit of a punt, to be honest, buying that blazer. Um but it's a gamble that really paid off. Unlike my previous gambling days, uh, when I was a gambling addict, then lost everything. Um, reselling seems to be a much better way of spending money to make a profit. Um, so, yeah, so uh, really pleased with that. I had a good haul, good afternoon outsourcing. Honestly, I, I could have spent over a £1,000 quite easily, and I probably would have done if I'd have gone out earlier. Uh, so it's probably a good thing I didn't, uh, to be honest, because obviously I don't have a thousand pounds to spend. But yeah, over five five hundred pounds spent on stock for Amazon and eBay, and already seen a good chunk of that money come back in just on that blazer sale. So really pleased with that. Anyway, if you've made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. Uh, really do appreciate it. And if you uh, could comment below. With the random comment opal fruits just to let me know you've made it this far that would be really grateful because that will encourage me to make even more content so yeah comment opal fruits below and let's confuse people who are looking at the comments and haven't watched the video and they're going to be sat there going why is this man talking about opal fruits and why is everyone commenting on it but anyway thanks for watching see you on the next video bye for now